Rovers taking on Preston North End this coming Sunday. And of course, a bit of Lancashire pride on the bloody line. We've not been very good against the Nobbers this in recent times. Can we make a change this coming weekend? We're going to get into it next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another video. Today, we have a chat with the Preston North End fan as we big up for the weekend conclusion. That's right, over the championship as Preston host Rovers uh, over at Deepdale. What are the hopes and dreams of Preston North End? Well, we're going to find out in a second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for Bappen Rovers, championship football, world football. We're going to all hear... Under Waruski, of course. I'm going to be chatting to a Preston North End fan in just a second. Again, if you're new, subscribe, smash the like, and of course, hit the little bell. Your one-stop shop continues. Uh, this weekend, as we're going to have a watch along, we've already had the preview out there. We're going to, of course, to do the deep dive after the match. But uh, let's take a little visit with our, our guest this week to talk all things Preston North End. Joining me today is Mark. He's a Preston North End fan. Uh, tell my small corner of the YouTube universe how on earth you support, well, why on earth you support Preston North End? Ah, easy answer that one because I'm from Preston. All right. So, uh, yeah, lived in Preston all my life, more or less. And uh, my dad took me to North End, I think it was about 1992. Last game of the season, we got relegated. Um, we got beat 5 0. And I just remember going to school and Everybody was supporting Manchester United, Liverpool, all these big teams. But I always said to everyone that I supported Preston. And I did support Man United for a little bit, as everybody else did. But then, yeah, I was quite happy to to, to uh, follow Preston and follow my dad's traditions. And, yeah, I'm glad I did that because I got a lot of time to, to, to go on the game and spend time with my dad. And they're all good memories and I've seen a lot of good times with Preston. Through yeah. Well, uh, uh, I don't know how much you know, but I, I went to school, actually, in, in uh, Bamber Bridge, uh, way back when. Uh, and, and, oh, I lived uh, in Walton Dale, just down, down, down the road. Yeah. Oh. And then, so we lived down there for a little bit, and then we moved to Lost.Call Hall for a, another couple of little couple of years, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and hey, I, I, I was tempted by the dark side then, but uh, uh, I opted for the... For the blue and white halves of Lancashire. Anyway, uh, season has been up and down for Preston so far. Uh, you were the first, or your club had the first managerial casualty of the campaign. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with uh, the, to see the back of Ryan Lowe? Look, I would have backed him because he's had all pre-season together. He didn't do too bad last season, but I know a lot of the fans were unhappy the way they were playing. So, obviously, once he went... Just back the new manager, and I'm quite happy with the, the replacement. Seems to be better than what we had, so I can't complain in any way. Yeah, well, Paul Paul Hackingbottom come in, and uh, and uh, he's got a good track record on, uh, with Sheffield United. Got them promoted. Um, he's a football man. He is a proper football man, and yeah, he was uh, you know good a good hire. It looks like from from uh, you know uh, taking somebody that that's out of a job kind of might have saved you a few few bucks, but with. Does, have you have you moved the goalposts with your own expectations for Preston North End this season? Did you oh, come into it under low thinking? I think any proper Preston North End fan, ultimately, we know we're punching a little bit above our way being in the Championship. You know, we're, we're always going to be on attendances and what revenue is coming in. There's probably about eight or nine, ten teams in there with pretty similar squads. It's about just coming above them, really. And so, expectations are always, we are always punching above our weight. But I feel, we probably feel as a collective that the players that we've got could probably perform a bit better than they have done. So, it, it's a shame to lose that talent in a way. And like, we've had good players go for sums of money and we've not reinvested in the squad properly. So, the expectations, I think we just want to see progress. That's all any Preston fan wants is people, uh, the players playing for the shirt and training and the rest, hopefully that, you know, hopefully the good decisions come with it. Yeah. Um, uh, what am I going to say? You know, the busy week this week, yeah, the cup cup action against Fulham. Did you, was that at Deepdale? Was that, that the big thrill after yeah, the parachute? Yeah, Deepdale. So there wasn't many there because it is a League Cup game and you tend to find when people have paid for season tickets, and to pay for that extra cup game, it's quite a lot of money. We always cost a living. 
yeah. uh, going up. But they, they played well against Fulham they, they, and they fielded a good team. So it really, in a way, um, it was a bit of a stalemate against Middlesbrough the previous week. But we've played some good football in the week. So hopefully that gives us a good confidence going into Sunday, really. Yeah, and and speaking from uh, from my my side of things, uh, you know, Preston didn't seem to make too many moves in the transfer market coming in. But from uh, you know, who should we be worried about uh, uh, from from an attacking standpoint from Preston? Who's gonna who's gonna give us the, the nightmares heading into this match? I think it's a collective effort from Preston. But there's a few flair players in there. The new signing, Josh Bowler, he looked mm-hmm. good in the week. So hopefully he can turn one or two players. Um, but we're more of a collective team, really, truth be told. So they just have to see which one turns up, whether it's the, the previous line, Ryan Low outfit or whether, you know, we make a bit more headway with Hegging Bottom this weekend. Yeah, and uh, Will Keane signing a new contract uh, was attracting a lot of, a lot of interest uh, from some other clubs, even, even I think Moneybags Wrexham was sniffing around. Um, do we expect him to feature, or is he out? I don't know what his status at the moment. I don't think he started in the cup. Yeah, in the last quite game. Honest with you. So he didn't start in the week. I didn't even look whether he were injured or not. So it's really bad on my part. But you know, as you get older, life gets in the way. That's, that's uh, true. <laughs> tend to just check the phone as they kick it off. So I'll be honest with you. I can't help you with that one. But he's, he's done good since he come back. When he when he was here previously, when he was younger, he didn't really make an impact. So he's a bit. Worried, insane, but he's he's been absolutely brilliant since he come back to the club, and the amount we paid for him. So to let him go, be very hard to replace something with a similar sort of cost element. But oh yeah, hopefully he's back in. We've got a few good strikers up there. We we need as my H really firing on all cylinders. He's cost quite a bit of money. Mm. Um, we've not not got anybody plurif- prolific, <laughs> but we we we. We're looking for somebody to stand up. That's what we've always looked at, Preston. We lose players and then there's always somebody that stands in the place and and performs. And then when we run out and there's none left, that's when we go back down again and come back up. But hopefully we can keep progressing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll back the years here now. So I I don't know. I think I've spoken to a couple of Preston North End fans over the past couple of years, and and I remember I do remember Preston back in the day when I was in that area, and I remember a goal scoring machine by Tony Ellis. Do you remember Tony Ellis? Yeah, we don't mention him anymore on these. Why, why, what, what's the deal with that? I, 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 again, I mentioned <laughs> someone else. Why? Yeah, because... so that was probably when I first started watching Preston. So um, one of the first games. I watched was Preston Blackpool and it was on Sky Television. It was, I think, it was the first one of the first Preston games on Sky. I think it might have been, and it just we couldn't we we wouldn't give him a two year contract, and his contract was coming up. But he was bagging goals every season, top goal scorer, and Blackpool offered it him, so he went down the road, which oh, is fair enough, really. Oh, 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 okay, I get it. Now, yeah, yes, yeah, we're yeah. not going to welcome him with open arms when he comes back. Yeah. Well, I, I just wondered why why his name well, was... I swear on so, Yeah, yeah, do, you can uh, go, yeah, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I just, because I, I remember, that, and again, I only I looked at it from the outside, looking in sort of thing and thinking, oh, he's got a machine. Why don't people talk about him anymore? And then, again, you, if, you, if you cross the line and go to your your, your nearest and dearest, you, you kind of burn burn those bridges a little bit. When he came back to Deepdale, we beat him 1-0 on that night. Okay, I'm that come there for him. Right now. <laughs> now I don't know about don't know how much you know about Blackburn Rovers, but is there anybody uh, from your side of the coin that that you're kind of worried about from uh, from uh, from Preston nah, fans? Never worry about Blackburn. Um, we're just more a little bit jealous, really. If I'm honest, Dirk, is since you was in the Premiership all those years, and all the I mean, you living around here, so all uh, the fans like yourself, are all a bit like cocky that they was in the Premiership and they could charge less on the tickets because they're getting all the Premiership money and they had Jack Walker, the big millionaire. So a little bit jealous. So they, they always thought they were a bigger club, but I always thought they was very similar and it's proven since they've come down that like they're pretty similar in sort of support and, you know, we're a city or a town, but probably similar in sort of size really. 
battling, battling for the same fans in, in, in that area. Um, uh, so uh, if I could push you for a, a starting 11 for you, from your point of view for, for Preston, who would you have, you know, from goalkeeper all the way up to the striker? Oh, so you, 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 your goalkeeper is going to be Woodman. And then I think they're going to probably go for three five two. Um, is what they played in the week. So, could be a, a selection of defenders. It, see, the team could be a, a, a bit of a mix. They, they have rotated quite a few players at this point, so I couldn't tell you what the, the full starting level were going to be, but it's whether he goes for a bit more experience or if he continues with Azmaic and Frochiar at the weekend, who's sort of our best creative player, truth be told. All right, and what, what about score prediction? What, if I could push you for a score line, all eyes are going to be on this game. It, I ain't going to jinx it, but I hope it's a good game and a good performance. But we've been beaten by our rivals before, and if it happens, you just got to accept, it, haven't you? But, um, but yeah, I'd rather be watching this game than some Premiership game with VAR and the rest of it. It'll be a good game. So I'm not getting a quarter prediction from you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna keep it at its stum underneath. Yeah, the... I'm not going to jinx it, but. Right. Um, not going to jinx it, but I hope, more than anything, I hope we have a good performance. Mm. I, I agree. I hope it's a good game. I hope it's a thriller that they talk about for years to come. I appreciate your time, Mark, and of course, hopefully, right. yeah, hopefully, I can't, uh, I can't believe you're from Brig. Well, well, I wouldn't say I'm from there, but we relocated there. We relocated to yeah. there. I wasn't born, born and raised there. I, I, my old man was in the army, and you know, we lived. Oh, right. um, uh, we lived there for two and a bit years and we moved to Lost. Then we, then we, my dad went out in the army and then said, okay, we're going to put roots down Lost.Call. Hall. Um, and then, uh, and then something came up. So we were in, in that area for about four years, three, four, oh, four years. years. Yeah. So, uh, but it was like a crucial part of my, my youth. I went, Is that where you found black? You know, I went to. In those four years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, like what it, it, it actually, it's a little bit of a weird story because we were living in Germany ba before that and we only get one TV channel in, in, in like English. Um, and uh, it would show the best, best of the best. And uh, the match of the day was on. That was the only t football I was exposed to was whatever was on match of the day. And then I liked the blue and white half shirts back in there. And then it was like, it was not, not like karma, but like fate. We moved into the area. Um, and then so uh, you found Blackburn before you actually moved into the area, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but this mad off it happens like that. I just yeah. can't believe you just you were around the corner so close. I know, so, I, and now where are you in America? I'm in, I'm in the swamps in Georgia, in the US of A. <laughs> uh, it's like Jurassic Park outside, it's like full of frogs and snakes and shit. So, uh, it's a well, uh, nice break to be a deck. Good luck for Sunday. Yeah, stop. Well, I, I hope Preston have a good season, and and uh, I think you yeah, think think it's times are overdue for Preston to get into the the, the the Premier League. They need a they need to go up there at least at least the one time. Yeah. See, I've seen him, Dirk. I've seen him go from division the old division three, and I've seen him get ninety minutes from the Premiership three or four times now. So I can't really complain. But if they could just get there, that would be. You know, they built the new stand, and it's all finished, and. The old stadium's been redone, so I can't really grumble too much. But yeah, to to it, that that the, the icing on the cake, so to speak. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Big big shout out once again to Mark for joining us uh, uh, late in the day. We are a little bit late in the day, but we got there in the end um, to talk all things Rovers and of course Preston, which of course are going to be locking horns this coming weekend. Of course, so don't forget to subscribe, smash the like. Of course, this will be your non-stop shop for that match and more this weekend. But, uh, of course, don't forget to be there Saturday or, or Sunday even. Sunday, don't be there Saturday. Sunday, bright and early. But until then, we are done.